I'm Splashes, and welcome to the end. So we've been in this world for around six weeks, uh, but by the time the world closed down at least, and we've accomplished a lot in that time, and I just really wanted to take the time to reflect on what we've done. We aren't going to be building anything, we're just mostly going to be showing off what we've done and talking together, so if you want to hop out now, you are free to do so. But we have done a lot of stuff in this world, and we've only been here for six weeks. The first thing that we did is we came over to the jungle, and it was quite a mess. And we found ourselves a little hole here that was filled with water, and we drained it out and made it into our little cave, our little starter base. And, well, I suppose it never actually became a starter base. Because it was the only base. We never actually got a chance to move into anything bigger. But the main thing that we focused on this season was making this temple. And I am so happy with how this temple turned out. It is really, really beautiful. And it did take a little bit longer than we thought it would. Uh, so I had to double up on the Timecraft episodes. But I think that was a wonderful decision because I have had so much fun, and it has truly been a wonderful experience. And I love these little dragon statues. They are, they are so cute and tiny. I should, I should try and make a bunch of other things where I make a bunch of little statues. I think that could be a fun episode. But this place is so lush and green, and I love the style of the buildings. Though, these plants do sort of make it hard to see some of the style of the building. And I do love this water feature we have, as well as the pattern on the inside. And I think this is something I would like to do again in the future, having these mosaic patterns in the bottom with all these fish and all this greenery. I'm just really happy with how this temple turned out. We did never... Some bits do seem a little bit unfinished, like there isn't really anything over here, and I'm not really sure what I would put in those areas, if I'm honest. But that's okay, they still look really, really nice. And that's more of what this area was about, was looking nice than being an actual base, because we really didn't have time to make an actual base. So as we finished the temple, we went ahead and added in this lovely meteor, which I think looks super awesome, as well as actually the first place we came into, uh, at least in the story, was this crash site here, which I had actually kind of forgotten about. But it really does look quite nice. And this was actually quite a bit of work to make at the very start. But I am really happy with how it turned out. It looks really quite nice. And then of course at the end, we built ourselves this Tower of Babel. Maybe not quite as big or as impressive as it could be, but I was really un unfortunately low on time, and I'm still pretty happy with how it turned out. It's more like a spiral minaret than the Tower of Babel, but that's okay. And then we also went ahead and built this ship, and I'm really happy with how this ship turned out. There's a couple problems, but honestly it's... It's really great. I'm really happy with how this whole thing turned out. And then we went ahead and- whoopsie, I did not fly there. Oh, jeez. Oh no, what's going on here? Oh, oh goodness gracious. Okay, let's try this again. And then we flew on- can fly on over to the jungle- the jungle resort, where we went ahead and built ourselves a couple of- uh, a couple of shops here. And- these things are pretty cute. So we have this guy, which I really don't want to step on this plate because, uh, well, it started off really cute. It's that noise has just gotten grating, and I, I don't want to step on it anymore. So we made that shop, as well as we made this lovely little shop here, which we can go ahead and recolorize people's skins. And it's brought back all the color to my skin, and I'm so beautiful now. So I'm really happy with everything that's gone on. And I kind of want to show off 
all the time lapses of this base that we've put together and put them all together so you can watch the base go from start to finish. While we're watching this, I really want to reflect on everything we've learned while being here. And even though we've only been here for about a month and a half, I think I've learned quite a lot of things. Playing with other people is really so much fun, and I've loved all the collaboration stuff that we've done. And I want to start doing a lot more of that collaboration stuff that I want to try and at least do it once a week, if not basically every episode, that we do something with someone else because it is just so much fun. Also, that builds don't have to be particularly grand to come out looking lovely. They can be relatively small builds, and for me, this is a fairly small build, and even when you're done with things, there's still more bits that can be added to make it feel more complete, and I think that's a really important thing to think about, that it isn't just what you have in your plan, or what you have planned in your head isn't necessarily what it's going to come out as, but it can still come out really lovely. I think those are probably the main two things that I've taken away from here. Oh, also, that things can be built pretty quickly. A month and a half is not a long time, and a lot of this stuff got done really fast. Also, with the whole uh, hyper jump and the ending sequence, that turned out to be really, really difficult, and things didn't happen nearly as quick as I thought they would. Uh, it was very, very frustrating, but it looked really amazing at the end, and sometimes it's important that you just step back take a break, and then reevaluate what you're looking at, because it might be better than it seems, because I was really, really frustrated for a while working in that program and trying to make everything work right, because you have an image in your head and it isn't quite what you see in the video, and it can be kind of frustrating. But I'm really happy with how this whole season turned out, and I have some really exciting ideas for next season, and I can't wait to start. And it will start pretty soon. It will just, there's just a lot of stuff that goes into starting a new season. So things are going to take a little bit, but they will be awesome. And I promise you it'll be worth the wait. So with that, I've been Splashes and Puddles. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.